Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's the first of the month which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, find out about this month's download, see the first set of cards I made, and find out how you can download it for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. It is April 1st and no foolin', I have a new free printable for you, the April 2020 sheet load of cards. If you're new to sheet load of cards, what I do each month is put out a free printable for my subscribers that is a two page PDF. On the first page, I give you a sketch and then I give you a list of supplies and dimensions and ideas for alternatives so you can quickly and easily kind of mass produce these. This month, if you follow the instructions, you will get six cards from just three pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock. Now, sometimes a sheet load of cards does make more. Usually it's about eight to 12, but with the layout this month, there is only six. Now you could always adjust it a little bit if you want to, to get more cards out of your paper. Now let's say you like this layout, but you don't necessarily need six cards. Every month I also give you the dimensions for a single card. And at the bottom, I have some ideas for alternatives or how to switch it up. For, for instance, this month, you could adjust the size or shape of the sentiment piece. And you'll see on my cards, I actually changed both the size and the shape. You could use a punch or die cut for your two inch circles. You could rotate the sketch or flip it. And because of the way that they're sized, this piece right here, which is PPC, you could actually use a three by four cut apart card if you have like a paper pad or a line that has some of those that would make good card fronts. The second page of the file always includes the cutting guides. So I show you exactly how to cut each of your card stocks and how to cut your pattern papers. Like a few of the previous months, each of the pattern papers will be cut in the same exact way and then you'll mix and match the pieces on the final cards. Now something a little different for this month is CS2 and CS3 are cut exactly the same way. I do want to give you a tip on this in case you want to get started before I come back with my process video. You will notice that each of these pieces has to be three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Now to make sure that you can get six from each piece of cardstock, you will first want to cut your cardstock in half like a hot dog. Let me show you what I mean. If I was going to use this piece for one of my mats, I would first put this on my trimmer and cut four and a quarter right in half. You want to make sure that you don't cut in half this way and then try to get your pieces because I think you can only end up with four at that point. So just make sure to always refer to that cutting guide if you have any questions. Down here for CS1, I put six little circles to represent what was on the sketch, but really you could use scraps for this. And you'll notice tomorrow when I show you the process, that's exactly what I did. I just got out some small scraps of white cardstock that I already had, so I didn't have to use a full piece. And as always, I would love to see what you create with the sheet load of cards each month. I have a video linked below, and it's called the Show Us Your Sheet Load Guidelines, and it tells you how you can share your cards with me, whether it is here on YouTube, with the hashtag on Instagram, or by actually sending one to my PO box. It brightens my day so much to see how subscribers use this printable. If you are gonna show us your sheet load this month, I do have a couple hashtags that you'll want to use. And starting last month, they are now printed on each page of the PDF file. If you're gonna share cards using this month's sketch, You'll use the hashtags S-U-Y-S-A-P-R 2020, which means show us your sheet load April 2020, and hashtag show us your sheet load. Here on YouTube, you'll just add those to your description somewhere. 
And then over on Instagram, you'll use those same hashtags. And then if you'll tag me, I am at call me crafty owl. I would love it if you would follow me on Instagram as well. Let's go ahead and look at the cards I made this month. All of these cards use Paper Studios In Bloom collection. It is a paper pad from Hobby Lobby. And then for my sentiment, I used a Bow Bunny sentiment set. You will notice that for my sentiment, I did use a different shape, like I said before. Another thing I did this month was mix and match my cards so none of them look exactly the same. And here's how you can download the file for yourself. As always, I do request that you are a subscriber to my channel. We do just go on the honor system here. I'm not going to follow up with you or, you know, make you email me for a password or something. Please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, down at the very bottom of my description box is a link to a PDF file for the April 2020 sheet load of cards. You can download that file and print it at home or you can just pull it up on screen when you get ready to craft. That is up to you. If you're a fan of Sheet Load and you think you're going to download this file, I appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget tomorrow that I'll be back with the process video and all of my collaborators will have their Sheet Loads to share with you as well. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.